Hello friends, my name is Chandramani and today we will talk about Windows uh, Admin Center. I'm really excited to you know, uh, know about this feature because I have I, I heard a lot of things about you know Windows Admin Center in 2019. So let's log in with Windows over 2019. If you're not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel uh, and share support. I know uh, if you have any queries on this video after you know watching this video you can comment in comment section also definitely I will reply when I will get time so let's log in with Windows over 2019 so last time we had installed right so so what we will do let's open the server manager console here if you open the server manager console you will get this pop-up right as I told you you know oh uh, the Windows Admin Center is not installed by default when you install a uh, Windows 2019 operating system. So uh, it, it is a Microsoft, you know, application. It's not a third party, but you have to download, you know, the the MSC file from you know Microsoft site and then you install. So so that is what it is telling here and 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 bring all the consoles in the single place. So let's do and let's install and let's see how it looks actually and what are the features are there. So let's go. So uh, either you can click over here or else uh, you know uh, let me let me open the Google here. And uh, yeah, uh, if you you know type your you know a Windows Admin Center, you will you know get this first you know uh, site from Microsoft Doc. Just open this link where we can download and install uh, the Windows Admin Center. Okay, there is a Wikipedia also you know there uh, for Windows Admin Center. Yeah, you can go with the Windows Admin Center was uh, unveiled by the Microsoft in September. Okay, so see now this option came. So here we can download, get it download here. Okay, so it will just you know take uh, not a one minute also I think to download. Yeah, see it's downloaded. So open the folder. Okay, so oh, actually uh, in 2019, as you see, the everything is you know looks as a Windows you know 16, but you know. Uh, uh, as Microsoft, you know, I, I read some articles in Microsoft where they have explained about the Windows Admin Center and the very big. So I didn't, you know, um, see any time. So this is the first time we can see like how it looks actually. So accordingly, we understand what exactly the Windows Admin Center. I just heard about, you know, some people also in articles that it was uh, actually good see this is the you know i just uh, right i'm um, double click here so it start the installation it's validating the port all these things then you know it will see encryption method also it validating now this is the first page of you know uh, license agreement so i accept the terms in the license agreement then click the next and here there are two options it's recommended for the update uh, it is a first option you should actually you know select but this is my test uh, lab so i select i don't want to use microsoft update okay so these are the things you know uh, required you know to manage this uh, you know windows admin you know uh, server so let's click and if you go to the back also it is not necessary that you know it sh you should install in the windows 2019 server only you can install it directly on your base machine also where you can take control all this in a server but there should be a network connection local network there should be private network correct so it is not necessary that you this uh, application only install only you know windows server uh, uh, operating system you can install in the client operating system as well there you can manage everything right yeah I, I, to ho hard these things no it's it looks actually excited to you know, know all these things let's allow and uh, uh, do the installation yeah 443 that's fine for me uh, yeah yeah here you can see the gendered self signed certificate actually um, uh, this is you know expired uh, you know some 60 days but the the another one which was there that you can create the certificate for you know computer then it will not expire actually because as, as i am you know testing in test lab so that's fine for me but uh, i recommend it to you you just select the next uh, i mean last options where it you know create the ssl certificate okay so you know it, it, will, it will take just you know some time few moments maybe maybe one minute to complete the installation so once it complete the installation we will open you know the console 
and we'll see how it looks actually okay so let's see anything changes let's, let's close this you know window as it is not required uh, as you know we are already started the installation of windows admin center so just you know getting to know that you know pop off when you open the server manager that's fine i can i can select you know <laughs> don't show this message again and close it okay uh, so, so nothing is changed like if you see this you know on the actual server manager console nothing is there let's click manager tab no same options are there even the tools yeah same all the options are there there is no extra additions i can see here and the view oh, that's fine nothing is there so why should i open the server manager as you know uh, they are telling that in in admin console everything I can see in admin console. Then why we require the server manager? Do do you know why why this is actually the Microsoft you know giving server manager and admin center? Because the admin uh, in in Windows admin center everything is right. So why we require server manager? Do you know guys why it is? Okay, let me explain here. As I told you, Windows admin center is not only support for windows server operating system only but also support in the client operating system so that's why it it given the separate you know application you can install anywhere like in your base machine also you can install and there you can manage a all the servers on your the network that's the reason you know it is created on the separate you know application I, it is for my experience so i thought this way i don't know why you know microsoft has you know created this application separately but this is the you know my thinking as per as it's what i'm using actually okay let's see see now it's finished up and what he's telling actually open the url in the browser on pc okay uh, and and the the path should be you know https colon double slash and your server name and colon 443 if you know using the license certificate some i mean ssl certificate okay but if you're not using simply you can use right you know http uh, your uh, server name okay and these are the path where you can download and you can get to know about more about thing uh, more about you know windows admin center so let's finish it but you know as we it's an application and we install let's see whether we can found it here application or not windows admin center no i couldn't find see it's it's totally you know browser i mean based okay so that's the reason maybe we are not able to find let's let's try you know login in google i mean i mean i actually this uh, and one more thing i'm telling um, this windows admin center is not supported i version of microsoft it, it is supported edge of microsoft or else you can use different you know browser supported browser as my you know google chrome is favorite browser so let's you know open this in google chrome http as colon double slash and uh, sorry i oh, what is the my server name actually oh this is the server name let me copy this one actually okay and in google chrome i will paste it here okay that's fine let's log in yes now it is asking the admin password let me keep the admin password sorry see now it's opening i think okay let me close these browsers as it is not required for me let me close these uh, you know tabs okay let me save this here also i want to see windows admin center and gathering you know environment information wow it's great right mm -hmm. huh, see, it's giving the information about you know this if you want to read you can do the next and read all these things or else you know skip the tour i just do the next because first time i'm you know uh, installing this okay okay third party software notice privacy statement license terms give us feedback okay keyword shortcuts also there and it finish very simple steps okay you see what's a great window right it's a great console actually 
right see the, this is the server name of mine it is showing if you have multiple server you want you can add it here but you know add you know server connection or add windows pc connection or add the failover cluster connection or add hyper you know converged cluster cluster connection also you can do it okay but anyway this is not required for us right now right so why should i go with this okay we will you know uh, learn this you know sections on the another part of the video okay let's uh, go here and click my you know server so be just you know excited to what the consoles are available in the server uh, so let's see so maybe you know it's taking time you know to connecting okay let's see because this is the first time i'm connecting no or uh, maybe it's taking time okay uh, because initially they will set up everything right so that's the reason when like for example whenever first time you log in in your uh, i mean system it's taking uh, time to personalize your setting to uploading you know file folder document settings you know all these things okay let's uh, use my windows account in this session okay let's continue it okay let me give another he, maybe you know it, it will ask again two three times password okay let give us the password here okay another kid is asking i'm not sure why it is asking again and again given right correct password i'm giving oh it's a problem here okay see now it's and started the connecting again it asking the password okay let's give it is connecting guys actually it's supposed to not you know get you know this much of time to you know connecting uh, maybe this is the first time i'm connecting that's the reason it is taking you know a lot of time to upload all the services okay. uh, see yeah, yeah there are the lot of you know services has been uploaded still i think uploading so it's overview back of certificates devices you know devices means it's a device manager you know the console and event log also wow it's great you know console files and firewall and installed applications also that means control panel we see we supposed to see but now i can see here okay wow local user and groups and networks power cells processors registry remote desktop roles and feature wow this have you know has this has to be you know server manager but here we can see it's great tool right as scheduled task services storage storage replica updates it is nice 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 okay so let's see in this navigate it okay. yeah yeah you see you can open the server manager console from here as well as in computer management console also here failover cluster manager also here and hyper be converged cluster manager as you know uh, this part will be you know cover in the later topic so you know we will discuss all these things you know later part okay oh wow see the overview so how you know the overview looks okay see restart shutdown option also there here okay enable disk matrix edit computers you know you can edit computer name and domain join everything you can do and the, see all the things you know coming in good uh, in, in single console it's looking great here I, I i really feel very good now i'm i'm whatever the excited you know i had it's really what i heard about the microsoft you know it's it's really helpful that's what okay 
see the memory about cpu utilization ethernet as i have two ethernet card it is provided you know utilization cpu memory it is really excited you know about my processor about you know windows defender okay see standard evolution version operating system it comes everything okay now it's great a processor if you click the processor it will come you know the overview of the processor the resist everything in single place i really appreciate it to with microsoft you know what they you know given in 2019 it is really appreciated here i i love this console now what i will do in my organization also i will use this console to install you know in my best machines where i can use it is not necessary that right you need to install uh, this windows admin and, and server operating system correct yeah so thanks for watching this video if you're not subscribed yet my channel please subscribe my channel to you know getting new videos a uh, new updates and stay updated with me get new courses new technologies update with new technologies and support you know my channel to grow my channel and share with your friends like give the like if you really like my you know like this video and uh, ask any questions and comments thank you so much for watching this video